What's up guys, thanks for watching. You guys have been asking a lot of questions on social media in regards to how the transition to a plant-based diet has been working for me. If I don't answer your question, I will do my best to answer it regardless if it's not in this video. Thank you all for submitting your questions and I'm excited to answer as many as I can. Do you suggest tracking macros when switching to a vegan plant-based diet? I do suggest that just for the first you know, a couple months, it would be good to track what you're eating because you'll, you'll start to remember that these certain foods contain these type of macros. For those of you that don't know what macros are, macronutrients, carbs, protein, fats, it's just how much of that is in the food, the macronutrients, the big nutrients. That is important to track because you'll know what foods basically have what you need for your daily requirement. But you start to realize, and obviously your body remembers, your mind will remember, that every single day this is what you're doing to your body, it's gonna be like clockwork. Your body's gonna get hungry at the same times. It's just really organizing what you're putting into your body, knowing what you're putting into your body. And I think it's a great way for someone transitioning to a diet that they're not really sure uh, about. You know, you've been working meat, eggs, dairy, and all these foods into your diet, now you're gonna be cutting them all out. You need some answers, you know, you need to be kind of worked into that. So tracking what you eat, I think it could be a great benefit. Do you suggest any type of tea that promotes weight loss or detox? I don't really suggest a tea to promote something that's going to temporarily fix you. I know a lot of these teas out there have something called senna leaf in them, and it could there could be other things in them too, but I know that's like a natural laxative, where it's really just going to make you It's good to work regular tea into your diet. I think hot water is one of the best things that we can put in our body. I know any time that I have a cold or any type of respiratory illness, tea is the number one answer for me, or hot water. Hot water with lemon, tea with lemon. So they're not weight loss teas, but they're just herbal teas that help our body, right? So these teas maybe have some good beneficial herbs in them, but they're all infused with natural laxatives that really are just temporary fixes. I got a question from the Carly Bible fan page. She's awesome. Is it hard being vegan? And no, it is not hard being vegan. I see how people are treated in the vegan community and how the vegan community lashes out at people for eating meat still and all that stuff. And Carly and I are not trying to do this to smother people with this type of lifestyle. You hear, you feel me? Dora does. She asks, how do I know if I'm getting enough nutrients, vitamins, protein, and all that in my food? Go back to what I just told uh, Emily, and it's the same thing, tracking your macros, tracking what you're eating, your caloric intake. Just make sure you're getting calories because that's the energy. And you have to also think, you want to work a fitness routine in, right? You guys are going to be exercising. And if you're not even exercising, you need to get X amount of calories into your body, more than you're burning if you want to gain weight. And you need to burn more calories than you're getting in if you want to lose weight. Now, I'm not telling you to not eat. That's not what I want you to do. You guys need to eat. But you'll see with a fruit and veggie-based diet that you can eat as much as you want and you're not going to be keeping weight on. Not only will your body work better, but you're just putting the right things into your body, the stuff that your body knows how to digest and benefits from. Our body really doesn't digest certain foods in the best manner, and when that happens, it slows your body down. Next question from Brianna. Where are good places slash resources to get vegetarian or vegan recipes? Now, Brianna, I know Pinterest could be a really good thing for you. I know a lot of women out there have been commenting saying Pinterest is good. I see it on my YouTube videos. But don't be afraid to go online or, or go to a, uh, any type of bookstore and pick up a vegan cookbook. There's a couple of online accounts. I'll link them below, too, that can help you. Next question from Ciara Sellers. How long should you rest between exercises? It really just depends on what your goal is. I don't want you to sit there and wait 10 minutes in between every exercise. When you go to the gym, you should really put your body through some work. You should be sweating when you walk out of there. You should feel like you did something. Your body should feel something. And if that's not happening, then A, you're either doing the same exercises and your body's muscle memory has you outsmarted, or B, you're just not working hard enough and you're allowing distractions to take you away from the whole point of going to the gym or exercising in general. So. Yes, keep your rest period short. I really do believe that that's a good way to go about working out because you'll always be burning some type of energy and causing some type of change to your body. If you walk out of there feeling like you just kicked your ass and you're dripping in sweat, you know you've really got a good workout in. So yes, it really kind of depends on what you're doing, but at the same time, everybody should be really having short rest periods in between their exercises because that's really the effective way to work out. You don't want to be a lackadaisical exerciser. Obviously, if that's a word. Next question from Hillary. She goes, Brett, I went vegetarian and I want my husband to see some of the benefits and join me. Do you have any tips that might help him switch over? The only tip I have for him is to watch Gary Yurovsky, I think his name is. It's called The Best Speech Ever on YouTube. 
just show him that. KC asks, when you're trying to lose weight, how many times should cardio be done in a week? If you want to lose weight effectively, you need to burn more calories. It doesn't mean don't eat. I want you to still eat, but you need to work those calories out with exercise. So if you're trying to lose weight, I don't know, I'm not sure on what your diet, what your diet is, what you're eating every day, but depending on what cardio you're trying to do will really control the outcome of what's gonna go on with your body, the change your body's gonna go through. So say do cardio every single day. It's hard for me to really just tell you, yes, five times a week because this is what you need to do, this is how much fat you're gonna burn, this is how many calories you're gonna burn. I mean, I'm not gonna do that because that's not the right way to answer that question and that's not something that anybody up here should be telling people because you're not in front of me, Casey, you're not in front of me, so I, I, I don't have any evaluation of your body, I don't have any evaluation of your daily habits, what you're eating every day. So it's really important when you ask those types of questions. Next question is from Brisky. Can you do a workout routine for Carly? I'll answer the question. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers! I want the truth! Yeah, I can, but I'm waiting on her. And that's the truth. So take it up with her. Don't ask me because I've been trying to get Carly in one of my videos for the last two years. And she doesn't want to. Because she She's the devil! She's not the devil. She's the most beautiful woman in the world. Heading over to Snapchat, what are some tips for people still in high school with a limited budget trying to eat healthier? My tips for you would be to stay as clean as you can. So just working foods that go bad, healthy foods that come from the earth, and I don't want to just sound like a broken record here, but you know, fruits, vegetables, anything that's plant-based, um, just try to avoid processed food because the more processed you go, the more expensive it gets. And if you're not gonna be shopping organically, make sure you're washing your fruit and your vegetables when you buy them. Uh, she asked me, do I ever drink soda? And I haven't had soda probably. Well, I, you know what? I'm not going to say I haven't had soda. I actually, whenever I'm drinking alcohol, which isn't a lot, we really don't drink a lot at all, but sometimes I'll get like ginger ale. I used to like to have ginger ale whenever I have a stomach ache because it helps out on your stomach, but I found a much better and easier ways to do that for our body naturally rather than just drinking some sugary high fructose corn syrup infused liquid. But if you're asking me if I like to work soda in by the day, or by the week, or if, I, if it's a special occasion, if I want soda, no, the answer is no. I hardly drink soda, so no. Soda, to me, is one of the worst things you can put into your body. Uh, obviously, once in a while, you know, I mean, if you guys want to do that, that's completely fine. I'm not going to be up here and tell anybody they can't enjoy things once in a while. But if you're going to be abusing soda, you know, every day, just be prepared for repercussions, you know, down the line sometime. Carla Pau, 10. Peanut butter and banana sandwich is one of my favorite vegan meals to have, and it's more like a snack for me. I mean, I would love to give you like some type of awesome bean, rice, and crazy vegetable dish that's gonna just nourish your body, but at the same time, something, something that I've been working in most definitely is um, peanut butter and banana sandwiches, or bananas and peanut butter, apples and peanut butter. I just love bananas, I love apples, I love fruit and I love peanut butter, so I like to mix them as much as I can. What do you think was the hardest part of going vegan? I love yours and Carla's videos, you guys are so cute. Thanks Amanda Rosa. It's the social aspect of it, you know? I mean, the scrutiny you hear from people who don't understand why, um, people who love meat, you know, people just, yeah, it's kind of like, it's political, and that's the problem. It, it's not a problem, I think it's just, it's, it's just like it's always gonna be a, a, a debate, you know? But, you know, where do you get your protein from? How do you enjoy life like that? Why do you do that to yourself? Why would you care? You live one time. I feel like I'm being pressured into doing a drug. That's what it feels like. Because I have switched from doing something that everybody normally, you know, does to not. And it's not just with dieting. I mean, it's really with anything else. If you're zagging while everybody else is zigging, people are going to raise their antennas and be like, what the hell's going on? Or what are you doing? Why do you do this? but isn't it this or but this, but that. So that, that's been the hardest part to adjust to. Tell us what happened to the kitties. What's your favorite part about being vegan? You guys are such an inspiration. I'm seriously thinking about switching to veganism. Snagglespin. So I'm gonna let Carly update you guys on the kitties. That's her favorite thing to do. I think she loves them more than she loves me, so I'll let her do that. But my favorite part, I think it's just the satisfaction of knowing you're not putting death into your body. You know what I mean? And people argue plants are alive too. Yeah, plants are alive, but they don't have a heartbeat. There isn't any emotional connection.
between a plant and its mother. You know, when you see food on your plate, you don't think about where it came from. You're just excited to eat it because A, it smells good, B, you're used to eating these things, and C, it's what everybody else is doing. Everybody's gonna have something they're going through. Life isn't gonna be, you know, all PT all the time. You're gonna get those things that are gonna set you back, avoid the negativity, and I know it's not as easy as it is said, but that helps mold us into a better person. So what's what's the root of your depression? Like what's the reason for you feeling the way you do? Who's around you that's uplifting you? Who's around you that's adding to the problem? Look at your diet, look at what you're doing about the day, get in the gym, get exercising. Your brain's gonna be releasing endorphins that'll help you, that'll help you feel happy when you exercise because your body's working, your blood's pumping, that's an accomplishment feeling. That's what I would really go for. Do things that'll help you feel accomplished because that's gonna uplift your spirits. Realize that you're not the only person in the world, you know, everybody goes through these types of problems. These types of things define us in the long run. So, smile, you know, you're alive, you're breathing. Um, you have people, I'm sure, that love you. And just by the way I saw you there, you look like you're happy. I don't know why you're saying you're depressed. So thank you for the question and hopefully you feel better. So that does it for this Q&A video. I apologize if I haven't got to your questions. I'll do my best to answer. I appreciate you guys wanting to know a lot about vegan. That's what I thought this Q&A would really be about was to switch to vegan. And we could always do a Q&A on Carly's channel with all those other questions. Like I got your questions. Are you Carly having plans on having kids? How did you guys first meet? I'm gonna save that just for a Q&A between me and her. Don't worry, this won't be the last Q&A video I ever do, but if you guys like these types of videos, I can make this a habit. Whatever you guys want, drop a comment below, let me know if that's something that interests you. And that does it for this video. Thank you guys so much for all your questions and for watching. I'll see you guys next time.